Okay, let's talk about sexting and sexting, not sexting, sexing, sexing a bird. Why is it important and why is it not important? It's actually not that important. If you're thinking about breeding, maybe you want to think about getting a boy and a girl. That's how it works. But I don't recommend breeding if you're just thinking about getting a bird. That's a lot of work and we're not covering it in, the, in this video. Um, but I want to make sure you know exactly how to tell um, a boy from a girl when it comes to birds. So I've got green cheeks here on my shoulder. Which one's a boy and which one's a girl? You don't know. You have no idea. So I'm going to walk through that. The first picture we're looking at here are zebra finches. Now a lot of finches you can tell um, by their markings. So that's the that's one of the, the ways you can tell the different sexes in birds. The Bird on the left is a female, she doesn't have the orange cheek, and the bird on the right is a male, he has the orange cheek. So you can actually tell in zebra finches which is a boy and which is a girl. Now is it important to keep a, a boy and a girl together as a pair in a cage? No, it's not that important. The problem you're going to run into is if you keep two boys and one girl in a cage, then it's going to be trouble. Or if you keep two girls and one boy in a cage, that's trouble, but it's your completely fine to put two boys or two girls in a cage together. They will bond, they will be best friends, they will be bosom buddies, um, don't expect any babies. Um, and it's actually, when you're talking about finches, it's not actually a bad idea to do this because zebra finches especially breed like rabbits. And if you don't want babies, don't get a male and a female. The next way you can tell is through coloring. So you can see in this picture, um, the um, Goulian finch on the left is a male because he is brighter. You can see his purple chest is just so vibrant, whereas the female has a bit of a duller purple violet color on her chest. In nature, for some strange reason, um, girl birds a lot of times are less bright than the boy birds. And that all comes down to mating and attracting um, a mate. Um, the next way you can tell, it's a little hard to tell in some birds, but these are Indian ringnecks. And you can see in the right picture that the Indian ringneck has a actual ring around his neck. Now, Indian ringnecks don't get these rings until they're about 18, um, 18 months old. Um, to two years old. And the ring signifies that it is a male. So you're not actually going to know your Indian ringneck or your Alexandrian parakeet is a male or female until about two years old when they start to get that ring around their neck. And if people, there's some people out there who are like, oh, I can tell by it has a flatter head or the beak is bigger. It's really hard to tell. I wouldn't trust them. So when it comes to um, uh, some birds, it, you really don't know until they're old enough to be showing certain signs. Um, if we look at the, a canary, we can also tell by certain birds by the sounds they make. So a lot of times males make a beautiful call to attract a female, like a canary. If you want a canary, to sing, get a male, because a female will not sing for you, I guarantee. The other thing is if you put a male canary and a female canary in a cage together, the male stops singing because he's found a mate. So if you want a bird that sings beautifully, get a canary male and don't put a female in the cage with him. But that's how you can tell too, you by listening. I can I can listen to um, a lot of different finches calls. I have owl finches um, and they both look exactly the same, but if I listen to their call, I know exactly which one is a male and which one is a female. Um, and then there's absolutely no way to tell if it is a boy or a girl. And then we're looking at something like lovebirds or these lovely green cheek conures. There's absolutely no way to tell physically, vocally, at all whether Freddy here is a male or a female. And the only way to do it is to get DNA testing. So this is gonna cost you about $25 to $50 to get a DNA test. And all they all you do is you pluck a feather or you cut a nail a little short uh, to draw a little bit of blood and you send that in. There's lots of services out there. Um, but really does it matter? It's up to you. It's up to you whether you figure out if your bird is a boy or a girl. <laughs>